Happy Saturday. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait. Here we go. It's a cute stampede from this morning. My top dog today was, um, oh man, oh it was Harper. She, she's good, she's a little timid so we're working on her crowds and things. So she was good, we went to Target, I had to get a new phone charger and so, and she did a very nice down stay with a lot of carts and people and things going by and she was it was great she was a little nervous she doesn't like when I'm holding a plastic bag so we're working on that but she had held a nice down stay with a lot of stuff going on so she's my star she was a little timid of children too there's a lot of kids running around and she was kind of like what is that so but she's good um let's see my other star my other top dogs Oh, um, the bugs, they're doing, they're doing a lot better. There's, I'm trying to think, Bumble, I, Lily, some of them are, they're kind of, they're starting to understand the weight part. You can see where they're not just fighting my hands. They're just kind of, they're like, okay. So, they're getting there. June is spunky. She barks at me at the feeder. She's saying, I don't want to wait, I want to eat right now. So she's a funny girl. Um, they did a lot of exploring today. Um, they were on Flat Field, Puppy Hill, in the feed room. We had fun in the arena. Um, we were st starting to work on their recall, Bella and I, calling, calling them, where the one standing in front of her, I called to me in Spoon Feed, the one, so they start to, um, learn their names. River, I think, River and Oakley are starting to get their names. And Lily. June, I think she, all of that kind of went over her head. <laughs> but they're still learning, so baby steps. They also got to go out onto Donkey Hill. That was fun. They did a lot of exploring. They're a good little group. And Lucy is down in the barn. So she gets to hang out with Pete and Nicholas again. She's happy. <laughs> they had fun together. Mm -mm. Lenny likes playing. Hi. What are you barking about? Um. Let's see. Lenny always has fun with her puppies. like to snuggle. See a lot of pictures of them and Kennel 10 all snuggled up together. Um, yes, I, I heard from the, um, Meg heard from Cole's family recently. He's doing well. Got to see pictures. He looks good. Very handsome. Um, he's getting along very nicely. They have a, I think it's a lab. So him and the lab are you know, best friends, and there's pictures of him snuggling, pictures of him hanging out in their yard. He's, he looks good. 
And he said he's doing really well. So that's what we like to hear. Meg said she's going to talk to them and see if they can come back soon so I can see him. Because I do miss him. I did let, we let all three gifts out to play together. You know, it's kind of sad, you don't know, have Cole. We tried to get a night, we tried to get the three of them to lay nicely to get a picture of the three of them. I think Bella got one, so I'm sure she'll post it at some point. Telling you about your picture, so now you can post it. Now they're going to hold you to it. <laughs> Um, Lainey wasn't too thrilled to, to hang out with the three of them because they're very rambunctious and they're much bigger than the eight rambe rambunctious bugs so I don't have a favorite hurricane yet. I haven't spent too much time with them, so I can't say I have a favorite just yet. Hi, Rye. Maybe Irma. She's the only one names that pops to the top of my head, but I haven't spent too much time with them yet. Just peeking in here and there. They're chubby little pups. They're very cute. Yes, hopefully Cole will come back soon, and then I'll get to see him then. That's one good thing is I will never leave. We're just trying to teach the bugs to wait at the feeder, like all of the dogs. Run out to the feeder, wait till we say it's okay to dive into their food bowl. So we're just waiting to see where some of them just kind of stop for a second and think, okay, maybe I'm not gonna just keep pushing. Some of them just keep fighting and just wanna get into the bowl. And they're starting to realize to just kind of step back and say, okay, they'll let me eat. So some of them are getting it. Some of them are working on it. Baby steps. They'll get there. They all do eventually. <laughs> I think some of them are getting it faster with the one-on-one -on -one because sometimes when you're telling the whole group to wait, um, some of them are actually waiting, but you're not just letting them go when, when they have that second of waiting and then the other one that's pushing so you say okay because that one's waiting but the other one's pushing so you're teaching the one waited that he was good whereas the one that's still pushing doesn't didn't get to figure out okay wait they're not letting me until I wait Um, yes, I did see some of the videos of Scarlett with her false pregnancy. It's funny, digging those holes. I think Shannon 47 said Kiara had a false pregnancy. And she started, you know, got, got really weird and nesting and... But she didn't, she didn't know that false pregnancy was a thing, so she didn't understand what was happening until she mentioned it to Carlene and Carlene explained that that's why she was acting weird. So. Carlin said go like five minutes later. What? Carlin says go for another five minutes. Okay. Bam, bam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else? 
Charles. Got an extra five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was a weird day weather-wise. It was cold, and then it was raining, and then it was sunny, still raining. It rained a little bit again, and now it just got humid. And I heard it's supposed to hit 80 tomorrow. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I would like it to just commit to being cold. The going back and forth is hard. Don't know how to dress. I have five minutes, a couple more minutes to kill. One of these. What? That means stretch. Oh, yeah. all right. I'll just talk slower. Um, the bugs will start leash training and getting used to leash soon, probably in the next week or so. So that'll be a fun adventure for them. Um, yes, Lainey had an upset stomach yesterday morning. Not a big deal. Threw up her breakfast. And that was really it. Gave her a Pepsi AC and then she was fine the rest of the day. And she's just got a sensitive stomach, I guess. It happens. Yes, the, the temps, you, I don't know how to dress when it starts off really cold and then by the end of the day it's really hot. You ready to take over? I am. All right. I am. Okay, that's my leaning. Oh, sorry. That's my leaning device. Oh, there we go. Wow, are we efficient? <coughs> so you can't put it on there. That's where I leaned. I need another one. Yeah, this one. This one. I don't want to all put that. Well, these are empty. They're empty filled. Let me take them away. I'm going to put it up here. Right there. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Now we've lost Steve. Steve! Party's on, Steve. There we go. Oh brother, oh brother, oh brother. Here we have. <sighs> Educational testing something or other. Employees, are you? What? You taking the SATs? I didn't do that. I did take SATs when I was a kid. Uh, and here we have employee donations. It's <laughs> I'll use this one. Is Israel? Salon? In honor of Nancy. Salon. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Put that in there. And Linda will write the thank you or whatever. And you can have the empty envelope. So there's another one here too though. Same thing. Educational something. And this is from same one. Oh, okay. In honor of Nancy Salon. Okay, we got two of them. There we go. We'll put that in there. And you don't need another MDM block. There we go. Now we have your cause. Annual giving matching something or other. Okay, 
at who. See if we can figure out who. Well, you've got to go online to figure out who. They talk about their speed and efficiency and things like that. Okay. We'll put that in there. That's very strange because twenty-five dollars and two cents. That's a little bit. What the heck? We'll take it. But you know, here have an empty envelope. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Town of Ipswich Utilities. We don't need that one. Another utility. Linda gets those. I can't put that in there. I'll put that in here. And here we have Harold and Wanda. Harold and Wanda was mailed on the 11th. Gluten free. Okay. Okay. That one. You can have that one. This is $29.95. Get the fast internet. Then add phone with voice mobility. Something about a business bundle. Here, you can have that. You get that. It just doesn't work. Oh boy. Okay. And we have Elizabeth from Gillette, New Jersey. I wonder how much it cost them to send out that thing to us. Just a little donkey humor. Charlene. I saw this story in our local paper and had to send it to you. I am disgusted how the owner of this farm treated this woman. All I kept thinking was how this farm really needs to visit a visit from you, Bentley, Megan, Steve, and a busload of service dog project dames. I know that it is not possible because it is too far from you. Maybe a purple envelope would make a point. I'd let you be the judge of that. Thank you for all your crowd do. I've enclosed a check for three chicken bricks. A little donkey tail I recently saw I thought you might like. Oh, sorry, no dogs allowed. Mm hmm can't think of why that would happen, but oh, if somebody and then somebody complains about it. Um, sorry, no dogs allowed. Hmm. Well, I tell you what, I'll look into it later, but I. There is a one string that might be possible. I haven't read the whole thing. It's a farm. There was something about donkeys. Donkeys are the... Dogs are a natural enemy of donkeys, and donkeys have been known to kill dogs. So I'm not sure who's... who's, who's right on that one. If he's got a bunch of donkeys running loose, uh, you know, I... Yeah, yeah, you don't know. You'd have to think think two or three times about that one if he's got donkeys loose. Anyway, it could be for their own safety, but it doesn't look very friendly, frankly. <coughs> I I had a donkey kill a dog once. They do it with their teeth, and you didn't see it coming. <laughs> he just damn dead. Isn't that what some of them were? That's what they're used for yeah, yeah, in herds of sheep. To keep the wolves out? And well, they kill them. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know who, what that guy's got on his farm, but it, you know he could have a, a safety reason. I don't know. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt for the moment, but at any rate, I watched Mo very carefully when we started this, and she's pretty careful around them. Jan, this is Jan. There you go. 
nothing so painful to the human mind as a great and sudden change. Yeah, that's correct. 28% of teenagers have never tried to ride a bike. Really? You ride a bike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ride a unicycle? I've never I've tried, but it wasn't very good. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a unique thing. Americans living today, less than 40% ever used a rotary phone. That's true. Um, don't doubt that. I... I, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not trying to think of when rotary phones. Right. I mean. Well, there was a there was a story in Britain <coughs> about <coughs> when you had to call nine one one. It was nine. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, right. Nine. Oh, I've used one of those. <laughs> Instead of one one one, you know. Huh. I've used one of those. I'm trying to remember. Okay, what, like, Craig. The age I was when Craig and Kate from Norwich, Connecticut. <laughs> There you go. That goes over there. Inquiring about a service dog. for Linda to deal with. We put it in the Linda pot. <coughs> and we have Helen Morton, Greensboro, South North Carolina, mailed 1011. <coughs> Bet you think this birthday card is late, but it isn't. It's the envelope that's late. <laughs> <laughs> Procrastination never accomplishes anything. Well, it does, eventually. Hope you had a nice birthday, and each and every day is special. You can celebrate your birthday every day. Helen Norton. Thank you very much, Helen. Happy birthday. Well, that's very good. We'll put that in the pot. <coughs> a couple of people are saying how glad they are to see Tiana. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> okay, we have Prescott, Arizona from Kibitz. There's a fire. It looks to me like there's a fire getting close to Vegas, too. Is that right? I don't know that's right. California no. is a uh -oh. mess. What? Do we have a savings? Oh, jeez. Uh-oh! Little puddle. <laughs> You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. <laughs> they all left me. Oh, I'm, my, well, somebody called today, and I wish to hell I dared mention it, but I don't dare mention it, because if I do, it's a pretty funny phone call. It was right in the middle of my nap. But if I do, then she'll get mad at me. Good enough. It's very difficult trying to deal. Believe me. Right? Right. Uh, right. Right. Brookdale, Senior Living Solution. I bet this is one place they never thought of. No, it's an advertisement. Deliciously healthy life at Brookdale Communities. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. What the hell? Rinse chicken under cold water. What? This is Brookdale. L senior living advertisement, right? So I looked to see what are you talking about. It says directions. I'm thinking how to get there, right? Rinse chicken under cold water and pat dry. 
<laughs> you know? Okay, <laughs> drop garlic yeah. through food, through whatever. I don't know. I don't want to do that. I don't think I want to do that. I don't want to go there. And then we have, I have a nice from Supreme. The other way. He's not paying any attention. Okay. What did I say? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I, it. <laughs> I heard an, I heard a voice. This is from Supreme. Supreme. Okay. How could you miss it? I bet it's from Pennsylvania, right? Yeah. 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 Pennsylvania not. Mikey. I told you to keep your eyes on your own paper. Hmm. Okay. Look out, it's Halloween. Okay, thank you, Supreme. <coughs> thank you, Supreme. There we go. You keeping that one? Thank you. You're welcome. Now what are we doing? Packages. Good. Galore. Galore. Okay. And we have from New Hampshire Teach. Oh, okay. I think of I think of Mark because he let me play with his oh. machine that makes bubbles when I was <laughs> down there. And this is from New Hampshire Teach. To Hurricane and Buckeyes, aunt from Auntie Karen. Well, not nice. <coughs> Lots of chew toys. Okay, I'm gonna throw those out. We don't get them all over the place. Teething for puppies. We could have a, a basket and put them in there. So that'd be fun. Okay. So somebody's got to unpack all, all of those. say who it is either. Okay. Here we have some fly traps. Yeah? Well, okay. We'll go ahead and hang them. Catches up to 20,000 flies. Well, that'll be a good one to a stall. Some of these do work. I I have I have done the milk bottle at one point in my life and it did work, but then again if you wait two days it all goes away. <laughs> but we, we should hang those. We should hang those. This is from somebody. Audrey's Buckeyes. Danielle. Braden, Corona, California. This is for the Buckeyes. It's a nice box. Oh, look at this. Okay, we have a Buckeye. Good Lord, we're going to be loaded with Ohio State <coughs> things. All on account of these damn Ohio dogs. There we go. That, they'll, they'll like that. They do like those. Is there a name on it? Danielle, the nice oh, Danielle. Yeah, okay. Danielle. I'm already forgetting things. You're not old enough. This one's very late. Okay. 
You've got it upside down. No. I don't know. Let's try it. I just had to complain about something. Audrey's Buckeyes. More Buckeyes. Deborah. I'm trying to read this upside down, so that's a problem. Deborah. Bran Brannon. From Winchester, Tennessee. Is that what that is? Winchester. Yep. That looks like that might be Winchester, Tennessee. It's like Christmas every day. Christmas every day. Oh. I wish I could tell you about that phone call. I knew it was a pretty funny phone call. But I... I mustn't talk about it because somebody's feelings might get hurt. I forgot where the house is. It had to do with toilet paper. It was a pretty funny story. Oh, look. Oh, this will be nice. Oh, this is good. It doesn't tell me who. K Rain? <coughs> cool pet stuff. Oh, these guys. Okay, so here. There we go. Oh my word, that's got Buckeye written all over it too. Look at this. Look at this. Good heavens. Ohio State Buckeyes Oval Dog Bed. Personalized with Audrey. <laughs> and the only clue I have is the email is K Y R A I A. Whatever. Are we through? What are we doing? We're taking this one out. That that's gonna be for these puppies that's over here. Cool. Yeah. Wait, which one? Which the Buckeyes are yep, those. those. They're, they're not ready for that, that thing. But can we use it in the meantime for somebody else? I don't think Tanner will fit in it. Huh? I don't think Tanner will fit in it. Well, have a go. Have a go. There you go. Oh, God. What is that? What are you doing in there? Oh, okay. As long as you're not stepping on puppies. You've got to use a darker pen again and read that. That one's a nice flat thing to lie on if you undo the snap on the bottom. Oh. I think. Spreads out? I think so. The pillow pet. There you oh, go. Look at that. Look at he that. goes. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, Audrey will like that. He's the place of the dirty duck. <laughs> dirty duck? No, the duck that's dirty. <laughs> oh God! Oh. I know. I told someone to use a darker pen, but <laughs> <laughs> did anybody write anything on there? What happened? It's like invisible ink. <laughs> it's, it's the kind you can wipe off, though. Mm -hmm. I wish I got that part right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep trying, you'll learn. I left my water in there. Uh, on the top shelf, one sort here. of. Is this yours? I have no idea. I leave them all over the place. All right. That's why I put my initials on them, and I know they're mine. You remember your initials, huh? Yeah. Very good. Because <laughs> I do it at school, too. I, I leave water bottles everywhere, and I, you know, if I see. I only take it if I see it's mine. Well, I just had a, I had a water bottle in there on the top. The, the, the higher up one. There's a whole bunch, but mine was higher up to the left. That looks familiar. I don't know why. They're all the same, right? Yeah, I gave you the one with a different label. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Got it. <coughs> now what do I do? All right. You know, when we were arguing about the cookies, are you awake? I don't remember arguing about cookies. 
about whether a cookie was a whole cookie or whether oh, it was a broken okay. cookie. How could you possibly forget? Well, to me, those are biscuits, not cookies. Biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> we had over 500 comments or something, didn't we? Yeah. Well, today, today is not nearly as interesting, and there's only 43. That's a hell of a change. What would you like to argue about? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm beat up. <coughs> I've been beat up. Um. Ridden hard and put up wet. You know that expression? Yeah. <laughs> Ridden hard and put up wet. Horse. It's a horse expression. <laughs> <laughs> Ridden hard and put up wet. Um, did you give out the number to people? I did. Wasn't I supposed to? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I mean the. We, oh, the I said it. To, I said it to Purina. Oh, did you really? I said this is something you probably would never even want to know. But. <laughs> Did you do the cards? The greeting cards? Not yet. Do, not yet. Okay. Yeah, I have them right here okay. somewhere. Excuse me? Is this another one? Right it is. I can't read it. What does it say? Sue Freem. Sue Freem. <laughs> I did have them. Oh, there they are. You want to mention about the greeting cards? Greeting cards. Let's do greeting cards. Well, you kind of hand them to me so I can have something digital to deal with. Digital? <laughs> Visual. Digitally. So this is, these, are, these are sealed. Okay. Well, these are the greeting cards that people have put together out of the okay. some of the okay. favorite shots. Yeah. That been on the calendars, and the shots there are <laughs> the two dogs on the yeah, park bench with the flowers around them. Yeah. The sh the tobogganing yeah. shot, which is great. Yeah. The coffee shot. This is Noel's uh, standing on the stump, and then Bailey in the tree. It's a series of what five cards? And what are they? They're on they're on the doggy bag, right? On the. No, in the uh, online? I don't, I haven't even checked, I don't know. But this is just one, this is, um, was it Noel on this stump? <coughs> They're all out of the calendar, so if they've had calendars, they know. Well, that took a while, didn't it? What? <laughs> Oh God! Hey. Uh, all right. Now what do we do? Well, let's see if we have some questions. Some interesting actually. complaints or whatever. People are trying to guess how old Tanner is. He's gonna be one day older tomorrow, or one year older. Right? One year older. Monday. Um, close. Whatever. Same thing. Um. Is Midge feeding okay, and how is she doing today? Midge. 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 She woke up, and it was kind of <laughs> rough flying around. The little one. The little one. The little one. There goes another puppy. Well, no, not quite. <laughs> um, kind of gnaw through the fence. I hope they can't get those wires back there. At <coughs> any rate, <coughs> I have to take that toy out of there. There you go. Mid. Um, Grace has been feeding her with a syringe. Um, she woke up today when Grace was not here, and I put her on, on the nipple, and she opened her mouth and put it on, but she doesn't have a big enough mouth to deal with those nipples. Because the other dog nursing right next to her had about a whole inch span of nipple in her mouth and was working away at it. This one, this one was just not much more than the quarter inch like faucet today. part like so we got grace in and grace warmed up her medic i have no idea how to do this yet because i know i have not been shown so grace had to come do it and she put in what five cc yep she 
put 5cc in her. I must admit, she does have just a tiny little belly, which was very nice. Very nice, she and then she peed and pooped again. all over Grace. She poops on me. She pooped. She pooped on her. Grace puts her under her shirt, and then she poops on her. That, yeah. Right. <laughs> I know. Well, that's I know. okay. So if you see Grace with something that looks like a, a brown necklace. Yeah. Don't don't. Speaking speak of necklaces, admiring it. <laughs> I remember George Myers has a necklace of kidney stones. Oh, <laughs> it's sort of an interesting. He, every every Christmas he auctions them off or something. I forgot. Okay. <coughs> All right. DT from Alberta says, "I work in high school where <coughs> student the student phone in the lobby was a rotary phone to discourage students from phoning home so often. They had to figure <laughs> out how to." how to before they could. Needless to say, with everyone owning their own device now, it doesn't get used much, but it was very effective for, for years. <laughs> I don't know, I, would you know how to use a rotary phone? Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. <coughs> What's so complicated? You dial in the number. <coughs> I would not be surprised at a number of people. I wouldn't be surprised about much of anything. I was, <laughs> oh. There's more stories I could tell, <laughs> but I can't. Because there's, <coughs> I can't. That's Send all. Down. Send down. It's awful. It's funny <coughs> stories. One um. was about to try to run the water uphill today. That was a, it was a very <laughs> funny story. But I, I wouldn't <coughs> want to offend the. They did a lot of work out there today, GE people. Guys. They did. They did a ton they of really work. Did. Thank you, GE people, for. They certainly did. Yeah, that's did why I can't mention. Then don't. <laughs> They did a lot of work. They worked hard. They did. They worked very hard. They really did. They did a good job. <coughs> they but it was funny to watch them. It showed that these people, I, I asked them, I asked them if they ever, as a child, had played with puddles where you try and make a puddle <coughs> run into a river. And not one of them had. Really? <laughs> we do that all the time around here. But, you know. <laughs> but I couldn't believe here you had four adult people that had never made puddles sort of trickle into another puddle and into another puddle and into a, you know, run downhill. This was evident in their work today. What else can I say? Did we shut the water off? I um, turned the pump off at one point. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Check it, sure. Yep. Did it. Okay, okay, thank you. So the water has now been shut off. What we did was <coughs> we hooked <laughs> We hooked up uh, the well to a long, long hose to go out to that area because I wanted to test the water off the roof of the arena. Make sure it's going to go in the right place. So that's what we did today. Exciting. Huh? Exciting. Wasn't that wonderful? Yeah. Uh, Being on the edge of my seat. <laughs> but they worked. The GE people worked extremely hard. Thank you very much. They did a great job. They did a good job. <coughs> they did a good job. <coughs> um, and, and, and all these companies do. And uh, they were they were done sooner than I thought. One of them, one of them um, painted the, <coughs> filled in all the little holes in the new ice belt. Right, right. I saw them doing that. Yeah. So that we wouldn't get water in their fr freezing and cracking things. Some water. Isn't this exciting, Tal? <coughs> Saturday afternoons are tough because we're just so beat by the end of the day. Oh. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> NBR lady, library lady. I guess the school I taught at was really behind the time since I still had a rotary phone left when I left in 1996. Oh. And um, just a minute ago, somebody said, um, 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 <coughs> that they looked up, uh, here it is, Karen M. Googled when push button replaced the rotary phone, it was 1975. Oh. I remember it <coughs> going to a push button phone, <coughs> but um, the rotary phones, yeah, we had for a long time, 
when I was a kid, and then I mentioned that we had also had a party line for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Brenda from Ontario says, the best thing about rotary phones is you can slam them down when you're mad. <coughs> they actually have an app <coughs> for mobile phones that you can Slam the phone and down? it sounds like you're slamming the phone down. Oh yes. God. Okay. Um, Wish I had it here to play with now. Um, <coughs> we get a bunch more here. We get to catch up. Okay, we already did the midge report. Where's Tanner? We went downstairs. Oh. Is anybody in the kitchen? Oh, Grace is there. No? Oh, we may never right get any here, food. Steve. What? I'm right here, Steve. Oh, Steve, Steve's they, upstairs. They, they couldn't read the board, Tanner. <clears throat> yeah, I know, I couldn't read it either. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> That's problems as we have. Is Midge doing the push pull motion? No. Nope. She, she's not. She's just kind of latching nope. on but not doing anything. Um. The guy next to her was slurping away. Uh, Tuppy Cat's got a uh, Buckeye's growth chart here. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I gotta see that one. Midge went down. It's not this. Uh, this chart is not accurate. All right, is Jerry staying till Audrey can go home? That's a long time. Steve told me today that she is staying for quite yeah. a while. Yeah. She is. Yeah. So she will be here for a while. That's a long time. Yep. <coughs> um, Bio BC said ordered my greeting cards from the doggy bag a couple of days ago. Great. Excellent. Laura, Michelle, Indiana, are you still working on the calendar? Will it be ready to order around Thanksgiving? This, oh. this year. This year. <laughs> oh. People are asking. I know. People are people. They got more problems. Uh, and thank you, Amy from Kentucky. Thank you, Amy. She put up the link for the uh, doggy bag. So I'm on overwhelmed. Over order cards. Gabby wants out. She can't go out right now because chaos is outside, so we've got to keep her in for a few more minutes. <coughs> um. wants to know if we're going to weigh Midge anytime we, soon. We just we just weighed her a little bit ago and she was up to 12. She was down to 10. Wow. So she she's was up on to her 12, way out. Up to 12 ounces now. She's up up to 12 but that's still not her birth weight. Yeah, no, I know. But it's and when you do pick her up, right there's just a slight belly to her now, which is good. Yeah, that's good. But she's that's a small puppy. Yeah, she's tiny. She's fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with her. Seems I can to be see. Holding her own. Just having difficulty feeding. I think she's. I think she's a premature. Preemie, a premature. Yeah, I heard you say that. You think she was like a couple of days. I think. I think she was probably two days younger than the rest. Mm -hmm. That's. I haven't. I haven't heard from George yet to tell me I'm crazy, but that may be coming. I want to be the here crowd. for that. What? I want to be here for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh God. So. I know, I know we've talked about this before and I'm trying to remember, but 
But since we breed the dogs on different days, the insemination could actually take place more than once, correct? What? The, the fertilization could take place more than once. More than, in, you mean more than one day? And more than one day, in, in different days. I, I think that's what's happened with this, because the, the sperm will live 20, 48 hours. Mm. We have carried it around in our armpit in a... In yeah, a I remember. Syringe. You remember that <laughs> bit. And then putting it under the microscope, but uh -huh. they're still swimming. Uh -huh. So we know that. Um, so my <coughs> theory is that, you know, although it's extremely unlikely because of the million and million and million of sperm running around, but that maybe one egg was way up high in the uterus or whatever, and uh, they just didn't get there. Swimming hard enough. Which means, which means, ha ha, the female, I bet you she's a girl. She is. See? Because <laughs> the, female, the female <coughs> sperm live longer and the male sperms are faster. You got that? Yeah, but I... The female sperms are slightly bigger and last longer. Grace? Grace? What? We're talking sperm. Grace. <laughs> are, there, are there male and female sperm? Oh, God! Of course there are! Well, it has to, yeah, some have to be XY and some have to be XX. Right, okay. No! Oh, Lord, here we go. No, I think that's well, correct. I think those are not XY. Some are X and some are Y. Some are X and X some and are y. y. X and Y, okay. We have to be accurate here, please. Okay. Well, then you can have some sort of congenital deformity there, X, X, Y, Y. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. Well, that'd be different. Two okay, but now, aren't the female sperms bigger and last longer? Mm -hmm. You have to look that up. Well, Google it. I'm sure somebody, someone's looking it up for us now. Can somebody so. look that up for us? I think they li they're bigger, they last longer, and the... The male sperms are faster. Well, hey. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, good picture, Rob, thank you. Wanting a picture of me with the donkey. Um, I hope someone's looking it up for us because I want, I'm curious. So therefore, I wonder what the percentage of runs, this would make a difference, what the percentage of runs are female. <coughs> Sarge is a male. We, we may be shot down right away. Yeah, yeah. He was he was tiny too, right? This one's tiny. How, do you remember how tiny Sarge was? No. Well, we can. Somebody can look all that up for us and try to keep track of it because that would be interesting to know. This one is so demonstratively smaller. This is not just slightly smaller. This is big time smaller. Okay, so, so if the, so how, someone's asking how often does Mitch need to be fed, fed? Grace is feeding her every two hours. Every two hours. Sort of. Snow Dog says, saving Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you want to know what I was worried about in the middle of the night, one o'clock I was up. Grace spent a lot of time yesterday explaining to me that, that Riot sleeps in the bed with her and now her cat does. Well, you know what Minch looks like? Is a mouse. Oh, yeah, you mentioned it. And I'm thinking, oh my word, now, I, now she's got a cat in the bed with her. <laughs> Poor Minch. At any rate, she apparently slept inside Grace's shirt it did fine. My cat wouldn't know what to do with a mouse. Well, let's not take any chances. No, we're not going to. Going back to Rotary Phones, nice lady says, my very smart college son cannot always tell time with a regular clock. Because they, they, they're so used to digital clocks. Oh, yeah. yeah with, a, with a dial clock. They, yeah. Yeah. Anita 
Jesus says, I had an eighth grader ask me how much change he had in her hand. <laughs> oh, it's pathetic. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Gabby will get out soon. Don't worry. She'll get out soon. She's drinking a lot of water right now. So. Lila May wants to know, could respiratory issues at birth cause her to not gain weight? I don't think she's got respiratory no. issues. Seems Grace, do you okay. think she has respiratory issues? At this point, no, but she was a, she had to be resuscitated at the beginning. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. Okay. How long did you work on her, Art? I don't know. It always seems longer than it is. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. Doris wants to know if Midge is, <coughs> she calls her a smidgen, is the smallest living puppy ever, ever born here. I think she could be. Yeah, I don't remember one. Somebody else looked that up for us? Yeah, I don't remember that. <coughs> I don't remember any smaller. Are you doing anything that's going to resemble supper? No. Oh, shit. <coughs> BioBC says Y chromosomes are way smaller than X's in humans, at least. Okay, so that's true then. Well, that, well, that's not really quite true. It's maybe true. I, I'd almost bet you a dollar. Look at him look. Go ahead. I'll I haven't you. lost a bet with you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you a dollar that the, the female sperm is bigger. Uh, the female sperm lasts longer. Size of sperm. We got a, are you digiting? Am I digiting? <coughs> we have more comments. Let me look through the comments and see if someone's got it for us here. Um, Rob says, have, have to be male slash female sperm. Gender is decided by the male's contribution to the procedure. That is correct. Ha 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 ha. Here's another one. Whoop. Female sperm live up to five days. Male sperm, three days. Yep, I see that. Yep. Yep. Eggs live 12 to 24, maybe even 36 hours after ovulation. Female sperm live longer but swim slower than the male. There you go. You were, that, there, you right. there you are. Okay, so you owe me a dollar? I now? didn't bet you. See, <laughs> that's the problem. When I win, he doesn't bet me. <laughs> but, he, but you know, there's something wrong here. I don't know. Somebody cooked the All books. All right, I owe you a dollar. How's that? I'll give you cook a the books. I'll give you a dollar. Put it in the fun fund. <coughs> did I tell you that I I did take some money out of the fun fund to help help Megan with Walter's leg wow yeah yeah I know it. she's got a big bill yeah <coughs> um, Aunt Geek says uh, maybe Carly needs some water do you have water I have water yeah she doesn't need water she's right there now they're going to tell me what I have to do for <laughs> Did Age she, is wonderful. Did she drink? There we go. <laughs> Not in public. Um, ah. Crafter says, look at Sarge's file. Sarge was born at Cookie's mom's house. Early weights were not posted for his litter. Oh, okay. A 10-ounce puppy? This puppy went down to 10? Wow. That's, that's not big. When they... When the siblings were one pound <coughs> thirteen ounces, which is sixteen and thirteen is twenty-nine, we're looking at one third the size. Yeah. You hear that, Grace? What? We're looking at one third the size. Oh. A ten-ounce puppy versus the one pound thirteen ounces. <coughs> hey, hey, hey! It's okay, Gail. Yeah. Hey, yeah. What's up, Gail? Yeah. It's all right. I hear the, I hear the microwave starting, but I have a feeling that's for that thing that warms up the puppy and not my dinner. I hope you're not warming up puppies in there. <coughs> Kathy Kaywood says, I can't attest to the truth of this statement, but my vet told me once that a dog can conceive more than once during her heat cycle. Excuse me. So if there is a tie on the first day and a tie on the last day, the puppies conceived on the last day 
can be a couple of weeks or so premature. Oh wait, she's got a couple of things wrong there. A couple of weeks. Could be a couple of weeks. No, couple of days. no, because the, the, the heat. Yeah. They certainly can conceive more than once because they, you can have more than one father of a litter, which we all know about that one. Um, so that would be two different, you know, whatever. Um, who knows? I th I think that five day and three day is correct. Need George to come and make an appearance. George, <laughs> George. <coughs> uh, Michelle Mitchell thought she said I thought Lynn was picking Gabby up before now. Obviously, no. Uh, I guess not. Not. <laughs> she's no, still here. Not sure when she's getting her. Actually, I don't know. She was going to be picking her up between. She goes to work in two different places or something, and that's why she would not have Walter with her. Oh, wow, well, uh, Watson. Lots of All right, Maratu. Katarina says, Carlene is right, female sperm live longer. There you go. Um, Joan says, Grace worked on Mitch for at least seven to eight minutes. It was very long. Lynn from Nova Scotia, that is based on the fact that the female sperm live longer and swim slower than the male sperm. If you have sex a few days before you ovulate, the longer living is slower female sperm will be waiting for the egg. If you have sex just before ovulation, the faster, pushier male sperm will be will win the race. Yeah, I can remember some discussion about trying to determine the sex of the child. Mm. I'd never heard of people that had an awful lot of success with it. Mm. Seems to me it's a pretty much flip of the coin anyway. But it, it, there's also some deal about <coughs> children are born 51% female? I think well, I bet you a dollar, but I didn't get the dollar in the last one. No, I told you I'd give it to you, but <laughs> I'm not betting because I don't, I don't know that. I'm not saying <laughs> one way or the other. So. Um, Crafter says Sarge was one pound, nine ounces at two weeks old. Check his file. All right. So, at two weeks. That's two weeks. That's a yeah. long way from this one. Yeah, but still, that's a significant <coughs> difference. We're trying to get this one back to birth weight. All right, DT from Alberta says that I may have lost the bet, but just put it directly in the square bear because Colleen said S-H-I-T when she found out no one was making dinner. So, oh, so there you, you go. You owe square bear. Okay. So there you go. So I'll put a buck in the square bear. All right. When I, when I use that word in and the Daily you, Doggy, DT. I have to put a one in there <laughs> so that people who have a spam blocker it will go through. Mm -hmm. Well, she put a dollar sign in there instead of the S. Oh. Well, that's another way, I suppose. Blue uh, Penguin wants to know, this may seem an odd question comment, but I've seen you do this before. Would milking Audrey and mixing with goat's milk and using the syringe for feedings with a mixture help with Midge's weight gain and health? That was that was during a, the colostrum bit. I think she got some colostrum. She was nursing quite well at that point, so I and, and, and somehow think I think she got some colostrum. I'm going to assume that. And we don't know if we're getting birthing cookies. Um, um, Lila May says order Chinese. <laughs> Hmm. Nice lady says in humans there are 106 males for every one for every one. 106 males for every 100 males. pH is also a factor in determining gender. Wait a minute. I'm, that, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Not sure what you meant, nice lady. Um, Tuppy Cat says Wit was another puppy, pretty small at birth. Kind of check check his file. I bet I bet she means 106 females for every hundred males. Yeah, I. I no, it's, it's a little bit more than superficial. It's tough feeding. Yeah. It's all the time. It, it gets you the answer. Oh.
okay. What are we doing next? How are we gonna get, oh there. How are we gonna get any food? You're the one that ordered the cooked chicken. Give me a fishing pole, get out to the pond, and uh, catch us some. Well, you know, I did buy a trout thinking I was going to have it for breakfast. I ended up giving it to the guy who put the roof on the building. <laughs> it was very strange. He now works for... Is there a coleslaw that you bought too? He now works for a fish store, a fish restaurant. What is it? Um, mm. Grace is preparing your already prepared food now. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Yes. Anything like gravy or anything? Or no. Nothing? Or no, not Soda. That. What? Soda. <coughs> sort of? Butter. Butter. Butter or uh, red, ranch dressing. Some some grease. We need a little bit more grease. She bought barbecue sauce. Oh, she did buy barbecue? Yeah. Well, oh, that'd be all right. All right. Fluid. says, enjoy your night and get some food. BioBC says, I thought I heard iHeart sent cookies a couple of weeks ago. Um, Joan, maybe... She's a dwarf dame, like there are dwarf people. All right. Uh, I don't know. Um, um, I don't know. Oh, a nice lady says, sorry, 105 males for every 100 females. When her son was born that, 22 years ago. That would be backwards ago. of what I thought. That's what she's saying, and I'm not sure where she got the information, but when her son was born 22 years ago, it was 106 males for every 100 females. Huh. I don't know. <coughs> well, I, I contributed that. We have three boys. So. <laughs> I have two girls. Well, there you go. See, we're still up one. <laughs> Any update on the painted do donkey? The who? The painted donkey. The oh, painted she's got lady. a big belly. Yeah. And there's another she black one. She seems great. Huh? She seems like she's... Yeah. Yeah, well, the pregnancy is fine. It's a normal state. Um, there's another donkey out there with a funny bulge. It's the one. It's one of the ones with the black nose, and I can't. I can't remember which one we started with. Which is the old one? It has a white dot on her head or no dot? Somebody. To Katarina again says, an, an acid side vagina favors male, female sperm as male is weak and dies. <coughs> it's always the way. Always the way. Um, Crafter says wit was one pound two ounces at four days old. Nutmeg also had the same weight. One yeah. pound two ounces? One, yep. See, we're not even up to one pound. Yeah, I know we're not even at a pound yet. I think Lila May is trying to get us off. She keeps saying good night, good night, good night. Pro, Marge Pro Wheel says Josie. I hope Lee got something to eat. I saw her go down. I don't know what's going on in the kitchen. Oh, but anyway, I think we're done. We done? Yep. Offing. Offing. Thank you all. Offing. Have a lovely Thank evening, you. Lovely weekend. Hang in there. I'll see you tomorrow or the next day.